Here we have a makeup stain. It's foundation cream with a little bit of tan colouring in it. And we're going to remove it using just water and some laundry soap. First of all, after having done a test out of sight, I'm applying a small amount of water and some laundry soap. Over the years I've used different brands of laundry soap, Fairy, Sunlight and also some unbranded ones. Um, but this one I'm using is imported from America and it's called Fells Napta. We don't use a lot but it has amazing range of stains that it successfully treats. As you can see it's coming off quite easily. Uh, the challenge is to remove the stain along with the pigment used for the fake tan element. Just gently massage it to work it through the yarn tuft with a spatula small amount of dwell and then absorb it out onto your spotting towel and it's removing quite easily and quite quickly. Another use for these laundry soaps and they are laundry soaps, they're not hand soap, they're not beauty soap, they're laundry soaps typically with a pH around about 9 um, but you can use them for a stain barrier you can wet a stain and sort of draw a perimeter line with the soap around the stain and it, it will help to reduce the amount that the stain spreads when you treat it with your appropriate spotting solution. Doesn't always work 100% but it's better than nothing. Sorry about the shadows that keep on coming over the stain as I move around. Um, it's down to the lighting in this room. But as you see it's it's already significantly reduced in intensity and we're almost there. Uh, with an extraction machine it would be a little bit quicker but you'd probably end up putting um, more water into this tufted 80% wool carpet uh, with a greater risk of wetting the backing. Perhaps just one more treatment, hoping that that isn't the pigment left. It's, there's still some of the original grease on there that's used in this type of cosmetic treatment. I might add that it wasn't my moisturiser, it was my wife's. I've removed sufficient now. Just rinsing it out with some water. As you will with every treatment you put on any carpet, you don't want to leave any product behind. There is a very minuscule residual stain there from the pigment. Um, it's one of those that are borderline. Do you go ahead and treat it afterwards with the bleaching agent or is it so hidden within the carpet that you leave it as it is? 
Um, I'd be tempted to leave this one as it is because you really have to look now for the stain rather than it popping out at you. That's rinsed sufficiently well now. And any customer would be happy with the stain removed to that degree. This is Ken Wainwright of Ken Dry, wishing you well. Bye-bye.